Hello everyone, hope you're having a good day today. I'm sitting here in the vehicle with Mr. Jackson. My daughter ran into Walmart to pick up something and I think he's falling asleep, guys. Yes, he's definitely falling asleep, uh-oh. So, I wanna do a few uh, run about town today. I need to go to the fish shop to get some snapper fish because I wanna do um, a Escovich fish uh, video so hopefully I get that done today if I find some good fish so if I do you'll see it you'll know by the title of this video if I actually get fish so hopefully we get to go and I'll try to you know take you in there too in the fish shop and show you some of the fishes that they have and hopefully we can watch them clean the fish also okay so I'll see you guys later bye Okay guys, we're at the fish shop and I'm picking out some snapper. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jack. Okay, here's some shrimp. Let me throw some here at this mask and I just keep riding up. Okay. There's some more shrimp. So guys, they have carrot fish. This is carrot fish. This one is butter fish. That's Dr. Fish. Jackson. That's Jackson Fish. Okay. And they have salt fish. Feeling the fish bowl. Fish. Salt fish. Okay, everyone. So I'm home. And here we have our fish. So, so I uh, went ahead already and um, have them soaking in some lemon water. I even washed it a bit with um, vinegar. Right? These are nice fresh fish, anyways. They smell. They have no scent, you know. And um, that's what you're looking for. So what I did already, I'm just um, just scale it a little bit more because. Sometimes when they say they scale it at the fish store, they still have scale like underneath here, here. You know, you gotta look out for those parts right there. So you gotta make sure that it's nice and scale. Just to run your knife over it a little bit when you get home. So I just use a small knife and, you know, and do that. Yeah. So now what I'm gonna do, after you do that, just make some slits in it. Okay, so you just kind of slit it like that and like that, okay? I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you, hold on. So here we have the fish. So, yeah, so what, it, so what you wanna do is just make some slits. Like that, and like that. This is a pretty big snapper, so I'm just gonna do like three slits. There you go. All right, I know that some people will go like this. Oh, oops. Okay, some people slid it like that and like that, like make an X. Okay, I'm just showing you, but I decide to do it this way, but you can go that way or you can do the X. Either way is fine. Okay, so this is how we're preparing the snapper. So right now, see, I'm just cleaning it up a bit. And then after I scale off all the scales off of it, I'm just going to put some slits like that.
bag and put it in the freezer for when I'm ready. Okay, so in here I have black pepper, thyme, I have um, some powder fish seasoning. Well, I like to use the grease, like you see the grease um, fish soup mix. So what you do, you just strain it and put it in a, um, in a strainer to get the powder. You don't need the noodles, so that's what I use. I just use the powder portion of it. And um, there's garlic powder there. And I even put a little bit of chicken soup mix also. You know, it gives it a great flavor. So as I said, in here is black pepper. Gar a little bit of garlic powder, thyme, um, chicken season, chicken soup mix seasoning, and you got the fish, um, the fish powder seasoning. Okay, so here I went ahead already. I just had a little bit of onion powder. Onion, actually, it's French onion soup powder mix. Just a drop, just like a teaspoon. I just rubbed it all over, and inside, inside of the fish. It's so important for you to, you know, rub your seasoning because, especially in the head, I mean, that's where all the flavor is going to be after you fry it. Okay, so that's important to me. Flavor, flavor, flavor. <laughs> and if you want to, you could even, if you have like Scotch bonnet powder, which I'm trying to get right now, you can put it in there also. Okay, you can put it in there. Although you're going to add fresh Scotch bonnet when you're to do the pickle, but um, for extra spice and bite, you can add it to it okay so I'm just gonna rub up the fish now with this and then I'll show you how it's gonna look um, before I bag it Fish is bagged and ready for the freezer. See, it's all seasoned. And I put it in the bag. Put, put it as flat as I can anyways. When you're defrosting it, it will defrost fast. So there's no problem. So they're easy to pull apart because I didn't really bunch all of them on top of each other. So now it's ready for the freezer, guys. Okay, guys, so we have our fish here. And can you believe today is Saturday, August 1st? what would have been Carabana Day, but you know that we won't have it because of, you know, certain things that's going on, right? So, what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna do up the fish, because I left you off at putting the fish in the freezer bag, but this is days after, guys, okay? So we did put the fish in the freezer bag and it was in the freezer. So, here's the fish, we're ready for it to, we're ready to fry it, and then we're gonna do escovitch. So, here are our delicious um, escovitch ingredients okay so we have here a, a sweet Spanish onion okay I did taste the onion and it's actually sweet and we have our carrots here okay so you can do your carrots like this or if you want you can julienne the carrots I didn't have my julienne person today to do it because he was sitting out in the Sun enjoying the day so yeah <laughs> and we have our peppers here okay few is scotch bonnet the other one is just regular Canadian no heat pepper but uh, anyways so this is sweet red pepper this is the long banana shaped red pepper so we're gonna do all this for our um, what do you call this for our escovitch okay you can even add more stuff some people add like chocho to it whatever but I'm not into chocho so I'm not adding it to it so here's our fish guys and we're just waiting for the oil to get hot at what 400 Celsius okay so we're waiting for the oil to reach 400 Celsius if you have one of these terrific so let's see uh, 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 is it going is it going it's getting there slowly okay guys when it gets there we'll get back to you okay so guys here the oil is ready so what I'm doing I'm just burning a piece of garlic in here so give it a lot of flavor. Give it a little bit more flavor because I don't usually season the fish with garlic anyways. But if the oil is infused with the garlic, bonus. So here's the fish guys. We finally dip it into that 
hot oil, okay? So what I did, I put the stove on medium, all right? Because the reason for that, you don't want the fish to burn. You don't want it to burn, okay? So after you put it in the hot, hot oil, turn it down to medium, okay? And don't try to move it yet because your fish will probably stick. It will stick, okay, and break apart. Don't lift it yet, okay? Um, I think you can just test it kind of with a fork in about maybe, I'd say maybe five, six minutes. All right, just kind of wiggle it a bit and then see how it's moving. Okay, so here is our snapper in the hot oil frying right now. So guys, our first batch is done. And we're on to the second. So it's just five snappers we have in total. And um, yeah, so this is frying up right now. It's on high. In about a minute, I'm going to turn it the heat down a bit. Okay, the first ones, I left the heat on a little bit too long because I was distracted by other stuff I'm cooking today. But guess what? It's still cooked. To the bone it's still fried to the bone it is delicious it is crispy crispy and um yeah so i'm paying more attention to these ones okay okay so we are back the fishes are fried fishes <laughs> fishes all fried nice and crispy and dry and i love the coloring on it see it's not um white or yellow it's nice and brown and fried down crispy to the bones now we're pickling our onion right so the onion is here I have the rest of the pickles here which is my sweet red pepper carrots hot peppers and we have a little bit of brown sugar here and we're also gonna add vinegar after a while okay so you don't need to we I don't like it when it's um when the onion is too soft I'm gonna add everything now you see the onions are still crisp Okay, so we have our red pepper here, carrots, and our pepper, okay. So I'm not gonna add all of the hot pepper. I'll add the hot pepper to it after everything is um, layered. All right, okay. so here we go. Oh yeah, the stove is turned down. Turn the stove down a bit more. And here we go. If you could smell this, guys, oh my goodness. Smells like you're back home in the Caribbean, you know, frying up some fish, pickling up some fish. And just imagine that Caravana was today and you're down there and um, food trucks and they're selling this to you. This is how it would look. Okay, this is how it would look. You want these wonderful colors, which we have here. Beautiful colors here. Okay. And you see, so this has been um, sauteing now for what? Two minutes was it two minutes yes and now we're gonna get the vinegar Where's the vinegar? right there okay we get the vinegar we're gonna add the vinegar to this turn your stove lower to a lower heat okay so I'm gonna add the vinegar I should have it measured out but let's say two tablespoons one two there we go turning back up the stove so it will sizzle and kind of um, cook our onion and stuff a bit. And you see our peppers and stuff, they're still crisp. That's how you want them, they're still crisp. But you know what? Everybody have their own version of the way how they make this, that's fine. That's what um, cooking is all about, you know, and that's how we learn from each other because I have my way and you have your way of doing things, All right? And that's what makes cooking so special. Okay, so we're just gonna let the heat, see how it's bubbling? Okay, we're just gonna let it bubble and kind of simmer a bit. And it's just gonna make a nice, kind of thick sauce. It's not gonna be, you know, thicker sauce than this, right? And that's where all the flavor is. So here we have it. We have our fried plantain. We have our festival. I'm gonna break one for you guys. It's so crispy, nice and moist inside. 
flaky outside it's so delicious and uh, here we have our escovitch fish guys we have our escovitch fish it's so nice and juicy inside nice and crunchy outside and it's so spicy I must have put about three scotch bonnet pepper on this fish it's so delicious though so delicious and uh, here we have carrots hold on hold on hold on sweet red pepper here we have our sweet onions these onions are really sweet guys really really sweet so here we have it our escovitch fish I'm gonna dig into this like right now so guys don't forget to subscribe like comment the video okay and I'll see you next time love you guys bye